Richard, how do you do? Are you uh, all right? Yes, thank you. Have you. a good trip. I had a lovely one. And you found your way all right. I did. You're going to tell me all about coracles. <clears throat> thank you very much. Coming to my <laughs> emporium. <laughs> the definition of a coracle is a small keyless craft propelled by one person with a single paddle. They're very manoeuvrable. They're not fast, highly manoeuvrable, um, and they are um, portable. And another nice thing is you're facing, you're facing a direction you're travelling in a coracle. But in the British Isles, there are about 18 different varieties known to exist, normally named after the river of their origin. So you have the Boyne in Ireland, you have the Spey in Scotland, you have the Wyanusk coracle, um, the Clethai, the Tyfe, and so on. And on the River Severn, yes. there are five distinct um, types on the Severn itself. Gosh. They're named after the town. So you have the Welsh Bull, Shrewsbury, Iron Bridge, Bewdley, and um, Bridge North. No one's found a, 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 an ancient one, but the Mesolithic people, we're talking about sort of 8,000 years ago, they were using sea boats made in a similar way. Uh, I mean, I'm really ocean, well, sea-going boats. So I think that the coracle is far more ancient. It's got to be, you, you could say, 20,000 years they were used. They would have been used as a means of transport getting across perhaps salt marsh rivers, um, catching spearing fish. And they were originally made with hide, then they would have used Welsh flannel, um, calicos used, fiberglass is used, aluminium sheeting. You can make them with anything. I I'm not a sort of um, a, um, a hide snob, if you like. They are all coracles. Just coming up to 25 years this July when I made my very first and what I thought then was my only coracle. I grew up in the village here from 1948 um, and we left in 63. So um, I was a small child when I came here. So the, um, the environs, the river, the, the quarries and everything was our playground. Then we moved away and we moved back uh, 26 years ago into the village. Um, became associated with the old haunts and the river, of course, um, and I decided to travel the river, the river team, 85 miles. Would I build a, would I build a canoe or a raft or the sort of idea of a coracle, which I knew nothing about other than the name, and that it was a very small boat. So I researched uh, and found um, a gentleman at Ironbridge called Eustace Rogers, who was um, one of many generations of coracle makers. Found him, went to see him, um, and I made one of his, uh, copied really, one of his boats. Well, I was an absolute novice. Um, you know, the, the, to do the 85 mile trip down to the Severn below Worcester. Um, but I did it and I, I learned many, uh, the learning curve was, was very, very sharp, as you can imagine. Yes. Um, and, you know, it's one thing to uh, operate a coracle on still water, but when you're actually on a river which is moving, and moving quite fast in places, um, you soon learn how to handle the boat. The idea of making the coracle was just a one-off. I had no, no um, intention at all of making any more. I went to see a basket maker down in Somerset, who I saw on telly and I'm very fascinated. So I got in touch with him, took the coracle down. I did a couple of days basket work with him. And he said, I've got a friend who's just had a big conservation leg dug out. He loved to see this coracle. So off we went. And when he saw the coracle, he said, I want one. He didn't say, can I or will you make me one? And he was my first customer. It is all local grown, if you like. They're totally sustainable. The hazel I get from the local woods, uh, woodlands from the landowners, permission, of course. Um, the willow I grow myself. I've got my own willow beds. The hides come from the village butcher, which is next door to my um, workshop, so I can go and select them on the hoof. The paddles. Again, ash, I make those myself. Um, and there's horse hair on this one, which holds the hide onto the frame. Um, that comes from the local knacker's yard. So I've always been associated with water for some reason. I've always liked water and been near water. Um, and I was born in the, 
Chinese year of the water horse. So well, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> um, so once I'd done the team, I then thought, aha, I want to do another river. So I chose the seven, which is 160 odd miles. And I started at Flanded Lois and went down to Gloucester Docks. Then I did the Y, I did a hundred down the Y. And some of the Shannon, my son and I, I went over to Ireland in 1990. The boat, it, it's a curiosity. You think, oh, it looks lovely, but it is a bit of a curiosity, like a beach whale. You put it on water and it comes to life. <laughs>